Hey guys, Lewis here, and in today's video, we're going to do a Mimo review. And so I've actually tried Mimo for an entire week, and I'm going to give you my impression. And I'm going to answer the question of, is it possible to actually get your first tech job just by using Mimo? All right, so the first thing that you need to know about Mimo is that actually there are two main career pathways that you can target. So you can become a front end developer or you can become a full stack developer. So we're going to take a look at the front end development pathway first, but each pathway has has multiple courses that you can see here on the on the sidebar intro to web development interactive web pages and etc it goes all the way up to you know react which is uh, the, probably the most difficult uh, course of the pathway before I actually show you a lesson let me show you the full stack development pathway it has more content because you know full stack includes front end uh, development plus backend development. So you're going to have intro to web development, just like in the front end pathway, blah, blah, blah. It's going to be a bunch of front end development stuff. But then at some point, you're going to learn about SQL, intermediate SQL, and express now i feel like you know for the full stack development pathway it is a little bit light because essentially you know you have a bunch of stuff about yeah, essentially front-end development and then you have like three courses sql intermediate sql and express uh, only three courses that pertain to back-end development and even with the front-end development pathway it is a little bit light when you look at the syllabus uh, you know, JavaScript classes, I actually took a look at uh, the lessons and React. There is quite a lot of knowledge and I'll show you the lessons in a little bit and they're pretty well organized and very interactive, but it's not very comprehensive and I don't believe that it's enough to actually land your first job. I mean, I have to say that in the past, I've recommended things like, you know, Educative.io, for example. This is like super comprehensive, right? It may be a little bit, you know, over the top in terms of how comprehensive it is. When when you compare it with the pathway here, you know, the front end development and this pathway here, which is also front end development. So for example, you know, on educative.io, you're going to uh, talk about React, but there are two courses and one is about, you know, advanced uh, approaches, context API, refs, error boundaries, portals, code splitting, type checking, React hooks, lots of these things, which are not really advanced. This is stuff that you're going to have to know at a front end developer job. You're not going to find in Mimo. Now, the good thing about Mimo is that, let me show you a, a, a sample lesson. And this is a lesson here, believe it or not. So there's some text here, continue. So there are quizzes and stuff. Uh, so you can just like uh, answer, submit, okay. So it's little chunks, you know, little, it's not like walls of text, right? It's very interactive, very short, very entertaining. And it's essentially taken from Duolingo. If you take a look at this interface here, Mimo is actually inspired from Duolingo. And if you don't know what Duolingo is, Duolingo is probably the most most famous, the most popular language learning app. And the interface is pretty much, I mean, it's heavily inspired from Duolingo. So a little quiz here. Check. Okay, and you have the same sort of progress bar continue and you know, a bunch of quizzes and then you have a uh, little lessons and stuff. It's all inspired from Duolingo, all this interactivity and the whole, you know, workflow kind of thing. So I definitely think that it's a good thing because it makes it so much less uh, boring, you know, whereas when you have like educative.io, it is interactive and you're, you are going to get like uh, exercises in the lessons, but there's still, you know, much more text and you need to be much more focused, I think. But yeah, in terms of content, I feel like it's just, you know, way too light. And in terms of projects as well. So uh, I'm going to show you the projects right now. So you have the lessons, which are, you know, what I just showed you and in the pathways in the career pathways, you know, front end development or full stack development, you're going to have projects or you can just do projects on your own if you want. So here, build new project. And I'm going to start from, you know, I'm going to do a react app. And this is essentially an online, you know, IDE where I can do the projects. Now this is unguided because I chose to just create a project, you know, from scratch. But if you do the pathways, you're going to have access to guided projects. So, you know, in the pathways, you're going to do like uh, this project, for example, which is like a link tree sort of copycat. That's the goal of the project. When it comes to the full stack development pathway, uh, you look at the 
the syllabus here and there are only three courses at the end that actually talk about back-end development SQL intermediate express basics you know I don't think it's really a good sign that the last course is called express basics you know now you may think that I actually don't like Mimo but I actually really do like it the only thing is that it's not comprehensive enough that at the end of the pathway you're actually ready to have your first job you're not going to be able to perform well enough you don't you're not equipped with the necessary knowledge at the end of the pathway to be able to have a job but with that being said if you just want to learn the basics then that's actually a very very good option now if you want a more you know comprehensive sort of pathway to front-end development or uh, full stack development or back-end development any kind of development I'm going to put some links in the description box of this video and specifically what I would recommend that you do is go to educative.io now honestly I feel like their pathways are very very comprehensive it may be a little bit over the top at times but at least you know that you you will have the necessary knowledge required to perform and get your first job in tech all right so that's it for this memo review and I hope that you liked it and I'll see you next time